really want to do. Alright, you guys can start your match. I told you guys that like three times. Next race in authority. Yo, you're yo, you're good, you're good. Alright, 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 alright. Right. We're going to Founder Green. Let's go, Sophie. Um I, I can see this. Come I, I, I like, kind of like this stage. I see Mewtwo though? So I, like, don't see, I don't quite uh, see how this works for Mewtwo. Ganondorf's... Oh god. Oh. Ganondorf's down airs aren't going to kill us early. Oh, that's one thing. Um, and Mewtwo... His kill moves aren't that great, so he's going to want the side blast zones. Especially for back airs like that. I feel like that's the way he's going to be getting kills on Ganondorf. That are like Shadow Balls, and those hit the same direction basically. Um, it is my impression. Oh, that, that was a really risky forward smash, but he didn't get punished for it. Yo, Angel, what do you think of this matchup? Or is it just yeah. a general? Yeah. Well, I. FOD is really good for me to some matchups. Not against Ganon. Yeah, not against Ganon. This is relatively small. Oh, that was a dude. I mean, he could try to get, like, edge guards, but I, I'm not sure how that. Works. Like. Oh. He seems to be doing awesome. okay. Like, he's just throwing his tail out there. And like hitting Fluffy while Fluffy's like in pullback for a move. You don't have to, I just wrote that. You don't have to repeat it. Yeah, but eventually Fluffy's going to adapt to that back air by throwing the tail. And then there's not much that Mewtwo can do after that. Like this matchup is just terrible for Mewtwo. I'm not sure that there's not one to pick. Yeah, like the ideal choice would have been to go with his sheep, but this is Gustavo we're talking about. He's trying to advance the Mewtwo metagame. Uh, Interesting comment about Gustavo is that uh, he plays so different from like the, the actual Mewtwo meta game that I think the players don't expect to do. I don't know if Fluffy has good experience against me. I know he's been playing like Mewtwo a couple of times. He's definitely like giving 24 ounces of openings. Like his normal stuff. Gustavo's got enough movement to kind of get around it and be able to play safe for a oh, while. Really good oh, if that back air had knocked him against the side of the stage, that could have been a uh, legitimate edge guard. So Gustavo's really good at turning around. And after that, that nope, not quite, not quite. And he, that grab was really risky. It was a good time to uh, air dodge though. Good, good presence of mind. Good oh. down tilt. Oh, not quite. That. Well, let's see. Ah, I wouldn't go for the back throw. I think I'm time to charge the Shadow Ball and get rid of it. Oh, will that be it? I guess that's it. Well, I mean, he couldn't have... What he should have done was back air. I mean, back throw, but... Or down throw. There wasn't much that he could do Oh, off that was that. a very good Shadow Ball. There wasn't much he could do to improve the numbers. Oh! Uh, that was not safe at all. And like, what, what percent was that? That was like 70%. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, you really need to respect Ganondorf's tournament winner, as bizarre as that sounds. Because it goes extremely high. Like, you have to full hop and throw out, like, an up air to cover that tournament winner. It's very hard. These two stages, like, obviously. Yeah, it's not. Oh, he tried to, that was really smart. He brought him that down with the neutral air. Dreamland, uh, it's probably a good stage. Just All right, he's going to gonna take the back throw off. And then you can try to get in as much damage. Try and edge guard him off the side. Gets a little bit more damage. This, this, this might be an up throw kill range. Um, gets forward tilted in the face, but not much comes of it. Oh, do we have an up throw kill? I think we yeah, do. This is definitely yep, that's that's so good. Because he got one at like 130 something, and that didn't kill, so he, he was close. Oh, punched in the face. Gave him the 69. That that's a problem. Um, Fluffy Lemons has made one of the most crucial errors in Arizona that can be made. <laughs> Missed the 96 too. So Gustavo is or 24 rounds is still in this game. Um, he's gonna have to do a lot of damage though. Uh, he's been getting kills from up throws at 150%. So he needs to get like basically 100% right now without getting hit to get that same kill. Oh, uh, the brave thing. And he got hit. Uh, <laughs> I feel like Battlefield is the most neutral. I think well, Battlefield. Well, you two, anyways. 420. Yeah, I think. I think Mewtwo and Battlefield uh, could do a lot better because... Yeah, and FOD, and FOD, the family, like, I feel like they benefit for Ganon more than Mewtwo. Yeah. 
Don't go stadium. Yeah, because he's just going to get in one of those platforms to get down there. Yeah. Hey, like Ganondorf kills him off the top. What's up? I was going to tell you, um, I, go, I have to go pick up my cousin. Can you forfeit? No. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, that's fine. At least forfeit my match. That <laughs> way. But me, but me versus Kyle, we're going to try this. So I'll be back in like 20 minutes. All right, that's fine. Uh -huh. Uh, Alright, so Mewtwo gets- oh my god! Uh, Any other character would have gotten dunked there, but Mewtwo is a teleport. So, so that's why Mewtwo is a good character, everyone should play him. Oh um, yeah, definitely. So, oh, Gustavo did course, work yeah. on that stop. He didn't take- yeah, I think he got hit once. I really don't understand Gustavo. I, I can beat him. <laughs> but he just has like these runs on other players that I can't beat. He's just untouchable for a couple of seconds. Yeah, like... He's playing this pretty smart, and it looks like Fluffy Lemons is having a little bit of trouble adapting. Uh, Mewtwo is... He's using his tail, he's using his Shadow Balls, he's just outdistancing Ganondorf. The times that he's getting hit is when he's getting in too close. I feel like this is definitely a deficiency in Fluffy oh. Lemon's part. Because uh, it's very easy for Ganon to close distance on Mewtwo. Even if he teleports, because uh, his arm is long enough to do either a forward air or a back air sometimes. Just like sufficient. You guys can talk louder. Talk louder? Yeah. Alright. Um, we're going to try and speak closer to the mic, I guess, for you guys. I was already talking pretty loudly, at least by my standards, so I'll do my best. Um, so Fluffy Lemons is able to finish that stock off. Oh, he um, took his jump, I think. Oh, oh just, uh oh, oh man. Oh, that was oh, he, way off. He needed to drop through the platform instead of running all the way around it. Um, so he's gonna get a back throw here, and that's not going to. Oh no! Why did he go out for that? Ah, just like that. That's a reversal. Um, yeah. All right, so he's gonna go for the up throw, and that's not. Oh, that does kill. I mean, it, it killed did him. not look like it was gonna kill. It had to kill. It killed in content, right? But no, not not at that percent. He had like 10 more percent before it would kill the fountain. Oh. So yeah, it's very easy for Ganon to come around to this matchup. At least in this stage, uh, Mewtwo has something to defend himself with. He's got those little side B tricks. I don't know if they quite work against Fluffy Lemons because he's played me before. But yeah. besides that, he also uh, he also has ledge cancels. Oh, that was know. a good grab. Oh. Oh. Here comes the combo. Oh. Can he fi oh, no, he can't follow it up quite. And he gets up. He had a sh what? Wait, what? That and, happens? Uh, Fluffy Lemon doing the thousand. <laughs> <laughs> nice shadow ball. That was a really good anti air. He comes to back here. So. Oh, so he just took his time to sh charge the shadow ball and then promptly wasted letting Ganondorf back on stage. Yeah, it was definitely not worth it. The back air would have done really well. Ooh. Yeah, he, he didn't put enough space between him and Fluffy. He was really lucky that that was the forward hitbox. Oh. Well, okay. Yeah, that was misleading speed on Ganon. You don't expect uh, Ganon to go that quick. He's going for all these grabs, and he's just barely misspacing them. Yeah, he's, he's really trying to play safe right now. Ah. All right. Let's see if he can get the up throw kill on this. I don't think he can. Yeah, he can't. But he definitely can at this point. So one more grab, and that's what that is. Fluffy is not falling for those quick shadow balls. He needs to save those and threaten with them instead. The All right, there we go. Oh. That's an up throw. In the previous match, Gustavo had a really good shadow ball that he used against Fluffy as he was falling down with a quarter. Yeah, like, he's using very good, uh, like, little shadow balls as anti-airs. Uh -huh. um, he's just missing with all of his big charged ones. I guess he's getting antsy or something. He needs to sell something. And he, he had no jump? Yeah. This side is me.